hey 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 this is beverly i will not be denied bozeman thank you guys so much for stopping by i do appreciate it i wanted to take a minute to encourage you to make your declarations today against the spirit of fear the bible says that god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind and i know for a fact that making declarations against the spirit of fear is a mighty weapon and i know because i had to do it um around 19 to 20 years ago my daughter was a newborn and um i was a stay-at-home mom and she and i were home by ourselves and i was walking through the house and i remember i walked into my bedroom and it felt like i could sense somebody was standing behind me and i got scared because i was supposed to be the only person there my husband was going to work i turned around nobody was there and i just stood like what in the world was that and i sent somebody behind me again i turned around it was like i was turning back and forth in circles you know like somebody standing behind me but i couldn't see nobody then i realized it was a demon i was so scared this i was petrified like this was the worst sense of fear i've ever had in my entire life imagine the time in your life when you were you were scared like i ain't talking about roller coaster scared uh a uh, scary house at the carnival scared like your life is in danger or you know somebody's out to get you for real not like your mama gonna whoop your butt when you get home scared i was that scared and i cried and cried so bad i ended up on the floor and I could not remember not one Bible verse. I had come from a church that was big on knowing the word of God. But I could not think of not one verse. And I cried. I began to hyperventilate. I couldn't breathe good. I thought I was going to die. From my own fear, from my own, you know, my own mind attacking me. But I remembered at that moment something my grandma said she said if you can't do nothing else call on the name of Jesus and I could barely speak because my mouth was like my lips were were like almost glued shut my throat was dry but I managed to whisper the name Jesus and I felt a little better so I did it again and again and it felt like whatever it was I know it was a demon but it was it was leaving every time I would say the name whisper the name Jesus and I began to get louder and louder and louder with it that was the first time that I recollect in my adult life being attacked by fear to the point of where I was like disabled you know and that happened multiple times within you know weeks and then I began to recognize when the attack was going to happen so when it was going to happen I would make a declaration and I would say God has not given me the spirit of fear I shall not fear any evil or something to that effect and it was and it would take a longer time for it to happen if it did happen and then I recognized the fact that I needed to get out in front of this thing. So it's something that I needed to say every day as soon as I woke up throughout the day and at night because I was under some type of attack. And since I was there by myself far away from my family and friends with a, a really different time zone, like six hours in time, I could not jump on the phone and call my mama and tell her to pray with me. So I had to do it myself. So what I'm encouraging you guys to do, if you are battling against the spirit of fear, and it might not be as severe as what I experienced, it could be, you know, fear about what's going on in your life, fear about what you're seeing on the news, 
fear of somebody threatening you, whatever. Get out of front of this thing. Don't let the enemy have his way. One of my major declarations today is the enemy shall not have his way. The enemy shall not have his way. To me, that covers everything that the enemy is trying to do. Not just the spirit of fear, but attacking finances, attacking bodies, attacking relationships. The, the, the spirit of bullying that's on our kids in these schools. You got to stand up. Don't depend on somebody else to lock arms with you in the spirit. Don't wait until you go to church. Don't jump on the phone and call so-and-so and say, I need help with this. Do it for yourself. So-and-so got their own problems. And believe it or not, so-and-so might be glad that you're on the struggle bus. Make your declarations for yourself. The enemy shall not have his way. Some people are so bombarded with other people's calls and needs that they can hardly find the time to make declarations for themselves. They stay praying for you. Get them declarations under your belt. If we can learn verses to some of these funky songs and know who is doing what in Hollywood and keeping up with a uh, TV series, <clears throat> then why can't we not make declarations for ourselves so that we don't have to bombard people with our prayer requests? The enemy shall not have his way on today. That's my declaration. And I say that throughout the day because I'm just bound and determined not to live in the spirit of fear. When I told God I was done well i had told a, a friend of mine years ago when i was because i struggled with it for years and i told a friend of mine that i was tired of going through it i didn't make the declarations that i should have made i i talked about how tired of it i was so i kept going through it and they said well maybe you're going through it so that you can help somebody else so you can write a book or do something and so you know i i kind of you know just kind of resolved to that and was like well maybe they're right you know maybe i'm chosen to go through it for somebody else's sake but it got so bad that when i finally you know started working because I, I wasn't working for a while it was getting at me at work child I was working with the public right and then when certain when I had to interact with certain people they would just I could just see the evil on them and I would get so scared when I was done with them I had to run to the bathroom and get in the stall and cry and pray what kind of life is that? So, I told God, I'm not advising nobody else to do this. Me and God got this kind of relationship. I told God, I said, I'm done. Getting the experience to help somebody else. I said, I'm done. I done sat here and thought about killing myself because the anguish is more than what I can bear. And now I can't even do my job. Because of the spirit of fear, I told God, I said, I'm done learning. I'm done learning about the spirit of fear and whatever else I might need to help somebody or write a book. I said, I'm done. No more. I don't, I'm not learning nothing else about this thing. I'm just, I'm just not going to do no more. I told him I wasn't going to do no more. How crazy is that? How you going to tell God what you ain't going to do? Well, uh, I think... I had about a, another year or two of it. God is like, you done when I say you done. And one day I was folding my clothes. I was at the edge of my bed with the basket of clothes. And I was folding my clothes and no lie. I ain't, I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. This is the absolute truth. I heard my name growled. And I know it was a demon because it was a 
a, a horrible feeling that came along with it. I had never heard or experienced anything like that before in my life. And it it was like this, ugh, gross. You know, I can't describe the, the feeling to it, but I heard my name growl, child. I just did. But I wasn't afraid. It was like this weird and gross feeling, but I wasn't scared. And I looked around. I was like, oh yeah, what else? I said, oh yeah, what else? That was it. That's when I knew that my declarations had taken me out of whatever place I was in to where I was no longer bound by the spirit of fear. There are uh, situations that can be fearful, you know, but I'm no longer bound. That's how I know that declarations work. I got other examples of using declarations and, and seeing it manifest. But I, 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 I'm no longer bound. No longer bound by the spirit of fear. And I know for a fact that I'm not the only person on this planet that has battled, been afflicted by the spirit of fear. And it is one of the most horrific experiences that a person can have. So every day but today especially stand up to the spirit of fear don't drag that crap along with you nowhere else nowhere else the enemy shall not have his way and you got to mean that thing i mean like if your kids are cutting up and doing things you told them not to do and you have got to jack them up and you got to tell them, didn't I tell you to sit down? Didn't I tell you to get off that phone? <laughs> Whatever the case, you got to mean it like that. The enemy shall not have his way. Don't, and, and, and I keep telling folks, don't tell people what you're talking about. Don't tell people what you're doing in your game plan. Because nowadays, we don't know who working for the enemy. We don't know. We don't even know. The enemy shall not have his way. And you have got to mean it. When I say it, I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. And you have got to mean it too. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Be sure to release your genius. Pull out the impossible every day. Remember, you will have whatever it is that you say. So make your declarations. Oh, um, I forgot. <laughs> I am hosting a women's conference june saturday june 24th at 2 p.m in farmville north carolina i'm going to attach a flyer to the end of this um and check out and add it to another part of this page and it is the i will not be denied women's conference it is free to the public seating is limited and we are going to have some dynamic speakers so be sure and check out the flyer so you can find out more information about it. And again, thank you guys for stopping by.